pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, RHS. I'm Sydney Murphy. And I'm Rachel Crutt, and this is your Daily Dose for Friday, February 12, 2016. Today is Wear Your Class Decade Day, and freshmen have the 90s. Sophomores have the 20s, juniors have the 80s, and seniors have the 70s. The pep rally and lip sync is today at 1.30. Get ready to get hype, RHS. Speaking of lip sync, Amber Maynard took a closer look on the Spirit Week tradition. Winter Spirit Week is in full swing, and we are here to give you the inside scoop on the lip sync. What are you doing to prepare? Uh, what we do to prepare is uh, we have practice every day after school for about two hours or more. I think we've been trying to have um, a few mandatory practices to um, kind of get down formation and just teaching everyone the dance and um, trying to have everyone on the same page. Um, we are grinding. We have practices almost every day. Um, and I have been telling everyone, if you miss three, then you're out. Is it more of a fun or stressful experience? It's fun and stressful at some time. In the beginning, it's pretty stressful. Like, you're just making stuff up in the beginning, but once you get to a good enough part of, like, how much time, it's pretty fun working together. For me, it is stressful because I'm the one who runs their mind, and I'm the one who says three practices and you're out, and I'm the one who yells at people when they don't show up. So for me, it's stressful, but then once we perform, it's, like, really fun. Well, my group, we split it up into groups, and I have a bunch of girls in my group, and they're really loud, so it's kind of hard to like, get them to be quiet so we can just get on with it. Who do you think your biggest competition is, and why? Uh, our biggest competition is probably either juniors or seniors, because like, a lot of them has like, music background, and so they know how to dance and how to lip sync. I would probably say the seniors because I don't know. All I hear is like a lot of hype about like how awesome they are. So probably gonna be the sophomores. We've heard that they have like props and stuff like that. The class of 2018, because I know that Juju Palmer and Paige Adams are really good dancers. So we gotta grind and try and beat them. We'll see you there. Thanks, Amber. Congratulations to Vinny Pleo who won Mr. Roosevelt 2016. Anthony LaMonica came in second. Tyler Thorrington came in third, and Isidore Harris came in fourth. Overall, the boys performed really well, and we're extremely proud of them. Thank you for being so generous in today's school-wide Miracle Minute. Remember, today there is a shortened schedule in order to have the pep rally. The class periods go 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 6th, 5th, and then 7th hour, and the lunches will not change. Now let's head to Caitlin McGuire with your weather report. Hey RHS, this is Caitlin here with your weather forecast for the weekend. Today it is partly sunny with a high near 22 degrees. There are northwest winds from 8 to 11 miles per hour with gusts as high as 18 miles per hour. At night it will be partly cloudy with a low of around 16 degrees. There are west-southwest winds from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Friday there is a chance of snow showers, mostly cloudy with a high near 25 degrees. There are west-southwest winds from 10 to 14 miles per hour with gusts as high as 21 miles per hour. And the chance of precipitation is 30%. Friday night has a chance of snow showers before 1 a.m., mostly cloudy with a low of around 3 degrees. The chance of precipitation is 30%. Saturday is cloudy, then gradually becoming mostly sunny with a high near 11 degrees. Saturday night is mostly clear with a low of around 1 degree. Sunday is mostly sunny with a high of, of near 18 degrees, and Sunday night has a chance of snow showers. It will mostly be cloudy with a low of around 15 degrees. And that was your weather weekend forecast. Make sure you have a fun and safe weekend. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Caitlin. Valentine's Day is only a few days away, but is RHS going to celebrate? Josh Pizzurro went or and found out for us. So, with Valentine's Day just around the corner, we decided to take to the halls and ask some students what they thought about Valentine's Day. So, are you a fan of Valentine's Day? <laughs> Am I a fan of Valentine's Day? Not really. Um, yeah, I think it's cute. Well, I like the half-off chocolate the day after Valentine's Day, so I guess you could say it's a nice holiday. Um, yeah, it's done nothing wrong to me, so I mean, I might as well like it. Do you have any plans for this year's Valentine's Day? Um, I will be at Orc Vasi for Valentine's Day this year, so I'll be with all my Ravasi fam. <laughs> um, not yet, but I'm sure we'll make plans for it. Absolutely not. So far, I do not. Who's your Valentine this year? Um, not Colton Thompson, definitely not him. No, girls, I am single. Amanda Inklin. No. Aw. 
Well, there you have it, RHS. That's what you thought about Valentine's Day. Well, Josh, wait. Who's your Valentine's? Well, my Valentine, Luke, is RHS. I love you. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Josh. The Wyandotte Golf Team here at RHS is holding a fundraising event on March 6th at Buffalo Wild Wings in Southgate from open to close. The fundraiser will be donating 20% donating of sales for the day if you bring a flyer with you or tell your server you would like to donate to Bears Golf. The team is excited for the event. For more information, go see Coach Matroka in A344. Go Bears! Our club will be making chocolate bowls next Thursday after school. The charge is $2 for each bowl, and everyone is welcome to come and participate. Now here's Maddie Simpson with your sports report. Hey there, RHS. I'm Maddie Simpson, and this is your daily sports report. Boys basketball has an away game at Woodhaven tonight. Good luck, boys. Girls basketball has a game against Woodhaven at home. The wrestling team has individual districts tomorrow. Good luck, boys. The varsity hockey team plays country day tonight. The girls bowling team continued to roll Wednesday afternoon as they defeated Carlson 28-2. I bowled my best series of the year with an average of 175. Freshman Skylar Kellenberger was consistent with two games averaging 160. Good job, girls. The Varsity Boys Bowling raised their record to 13-1 Wednesday with a 27-3 win over Carlson. They bowled 299 the second Baker game. Both teams have a tournament tomorrow. Good luck, Bears. That's all for your sports report. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Maddie. Roosevelt High School's rowing team presents bowling night at Indian Lanes in Wyandotte. The event is today, February 12th. Registration is at 9 p.m. and bowling begins at 9.30. The cost is $18 if you purchase your tickets in advance, but $20 at the door. Come join them for a night of bowling and support the team's 2016 season. Winter Spirit Week has a lot of perks, but perks like lip sync and Mr. Roosevelt, but so does Fall Spirit Week. Katie Thorington took a closer look on the preferences of RHS students. Which Spirit Week do you like better, winter or fall? We took a closer look. <laughs> Character Day or Ugly Sweater Day? Character Day. I think Ugly Sweater Day. Character Day, I don't really own an ugly sweater, so... Ugly sweater day. Ugly sweater day. America or pajama day? Pajama day. America day. Oh, America day. By far. America day. Mm, America day. Salad dressing or dress like a teacher day? Salad dressing. Um, I say dress like a teacher day. Dress like a teacher because I don't know how to dress like salad dressing. Dress like a teacher day. Dress like a teacher day. Class color or class decade? Class decade. Class color day. Class color. Class color. Class color. Dress like a teacher day versus ugly sweater day. Um, ugly sweater day. I say dress like a teacher day. Dress like a teacher day. Ugly sweater day. Dress like a teacher day. Class color day versus America day. Uh, America day. <laughs> I say America day because patriotism. <laughs> Class color day. School spirit. America day. America Day. America Day or dress like a teacher day? America Day. I would dress like a teacher day and I would dress up like Mr. Adams, wear a nice Eastern Michigan shirt and some khakis. Dress like a teacher day. America Day. America Day. Because like we live in America and we should show our respect, okay? And the winner is America Day. Thanks, Kate. Today after school, Feminist Club will be meeting in room A211. Happy birthday to Noah, Noah Heiner, Bennett Janeski, Courtney Little, Bryce Madalonis, Michaela McCray, and Ariana Sa Sanchez. Hey students, want to see your pictures in the Y News? Tweet them with the hashtag Spirit16 or at RHS underscore Y News. Hey Rachel, astronomers got tired of watching the moon go around the earth for 24 hours, so they called it a day. I'm Cindy Murphy. <laughs> And I'm Rachel Crutt. Stay cheesy, RHS.